All right, Billy Bob, congratulations. You've made it to the final round of this competition. Now we're sending you back to your home forges for five days to recreate an iconic weapon from history. And that weapon is... the Ramphaya. Originating as early as 400 BC, the Ramphaya was a fearsome weapon prominently used by Thracian tribes of Eastern Europe. It featured a long, single-edged blade that had great cutting and slashing strength due to the blade's slightly forward curve. Usually forged with iron, warriors had to use two hands to wield this heavy weapon, using an overhead sweeping or hacking motion to attack from close distances. First mentioned in historical texts by the ancient Roman historian Titus Livius, it was recorded as one of the key weapons in violent Thracian warfare. Good luck, bladesmiths. We'll see you in five days. My name is Dwight Phillips, and I was the first person from Tennessee that I know of to pass the Master Smith test. What I love about bladesmithing, 200 years from now, somebody else is going to be picking it up and looking at it. That really satisfies me. It looks pretty good. The thing I'm worried about is the handle. I went with a full tang, which makes it a little bit heavier. I may have to drill some holes in there and take away some weight. That made me a little nervous. Next, we will clay it, get ready for heat treat. This will help keep part of the metal soft and the other part will get hard. I feel really nervous about quenching something this long, but what the heck, let's go see what happens. If this heat treat goes wrong, I could be in serious trouble. The time it takes to work out another sword this long, I'll be down and out. I'm more nervous than a mouse that's running from a cat on this. It wouldn't no cracks in the edge, and it wouldn't warp. It looks perfect. Let's check it out here. And it's dragging right there. Kind of run out of time. If I don't get this blade ready to sharp, Billy Bob could take home the money. I have got to fix it. It's better. If I had a lot more time, I could really stone this edge and get it even sharper than that but I think it's gonna go through everything they put up against it. We just have to see. My name is Bill Sowell. Everybody in the knife world calls me Billy Bob. I've been a master smith for eight years. When I decide to make a knife, I'm just gonna do it. And there's not a lot of planning to it. You just keep doing it until it's knife. The sword isn't fitting all the way through the forward, so I just made one renovation. I just knocked a hole in the firewall. So I think I'm going to make a simple pattern of twisted Damascus, and I can put it on the handle to give it a little detail. Oh, never pick a snowball up in a blacksmith shop, because it could be hot. I'm way behind. This is no bull The handle is as hard as I expected. Today, I'm going to try to fit and shape the handle. Oh, yes, baby. I'm doing it in two pieces. It just adds to the craftsmanship. Son of a bitch! The handle was looking a lot better than I thought it would, but we're never out of the woods until we send this bad boy off. Damn it. The threads are crooked. Being a perfectionist, I'm going to keep messing with it until I get it right. That may be the downfall of this whole thing. Master Bladesmiths, to see what kind of lethal damage your rum fires will do, we will take your rum fires and deliver lethal slashes and thrusts on this wild boar carcass. Dwight, you're up first. You ready? I'm ready. As you can see, I'm still recovering from an injury. So to be my arm today, I'd like to welcome my brother, RJ Markaida. Well, Dwight, on the initial draw cut, it is sharp to where it lacerated deep into this wild boar carcass. On the thrust, it penetrated easily into the carcass. And on the final cut right here, your blade cut all the way through the carcass. Overall, you're on fire. Good kill. Thank you. Good job. All right, Billy Bob, 
It's a hard act to follow, but let's do it. All right, Billy Bob, it's so light, you can almost wield it with one hand. The edge over here is so sharp, it lacerates easily without much force. The profile you have over here for thrusting allowed it for a very deep, quick and out penetration. Overall, you're on fire. Will kill. Thank you. Next up is the strength test. Ben? Gentlemen, to test the strength and durability of your blades, I'm gonna clamp them into this machine and it will deliver a strike on the sugar cane of about 500 pounds of force. Remember, this test is all about what the sugar cane does to your blade and not what your blade does to the sugar cane. Dwight, I've already clamped yours in. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Well, Dwight, your blade held up perfectly. It's like it didn't hit anything. It's still dead straight. Very well done. Thank you. Billy Bob, you're up next. You ready? I can't wait. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Three, two, one. Ah, you kill me. Well, Billy Bob, I love the overall weight. It feels like it's a really good chopper. And uh, most importantly, the edge is still as razor sharp as it was when you brought it here. Very well done. Thank you, sir. Next up is the sharpness test. And for that, I give you to Dave. All right, gentlemen, I'll be working my way through this rope maze by cutting. We've seen your blades kill. Let's see if they've held their edge. Dwight, you're up first. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. All right, so Dwight, your blade is just pristine. I mean, there's there's not a mark or a hair hanging on it or anything. Feel-wise, it's got a lot of forward weight. It makes for a very strong chop, but I do have to stop it, slow it down, and back it up. I think it's a beautiful weapon. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Billy Bob, you ready to go? Let's do it. OK. Billy Bob, this is sharp. It blew through rope like nothing. I felt I could really control this weapon uh, just because it, it's so much lighter up through here. Fabulous weapon. Thank you. Well done. Dwight, Billy Bob, both done masterful work, as expected from Master Smiths. However, in this arena of competition, there can only be one Forged and Fire champion, and that champion is. Billy Bob, congratulations. You are the Forged and Fire champion. Thank you. Dwight, your blade was badass. But this time, it didn't make the cut. Doug Markaita will explain. Dwight, first of all, this is exactly what we expect for a final round. Two beautifully matched blades. But your blade is slightly heavy. That offsets its balance compared to Billy Bob's. And it's for that reason we're sending you home. Dwight. I need to ask you to please surrender your blade. Billy Bob winning is no disgrace. I believe both blades are pretty equal. I'd hate to have been a judge. Being on Forge and Far is one of the best experiences I've ever had. If it's something that you're passionate about, you need to go for it. Billy Bob, congratulations. You are the new Forge and Fire champion and will be receiving a check for $10,000. Good job. Thank you. I'm honored that I'm here to do it. Please present your weapon to the judges. The old man went for us and fire. <laughs> old man come here and kicked ass and took names. It feels good now. I'm proud of both of us. Dwight and I forged not only Blaze, but we forged a friendship. I'm going to go home and take a break. I'm going to get me a damn pedicure. <laughs> you don't know what you're missing if you ain't had one. 